Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Just Open It, the YouTube series in which I open recently acquired toys. My name is Russ. Thank you very much for watching this episode. I really appreciate it. If you're a fan of toys, action figures, or pop culture in general, please subscribe to my channel, Karaoke Fanboy TV. Every week I will be opening a new toy or pop culture collectible. And this week I am opening Arthur from The Tick. I'm very excited to finally get this guy out of the package because his buddy The Tick's been lonely for quite some time. This is The Tick I had when I was a kid, and you could see the discolorization there of his chest because he's been on display a long, long time. In fact, kind of embarrassingly, he's covered in dust here. And uh, <laughs> until recently, he was the only Tick figure I had. But if you've been following my channel, I did come into a lot of Tick action figures at an auction where um, I initially thought that uh, we were just going to an estate sale, but it turned out that the, uh, the available toys were sectioned into lots that um, attendees had to bid on. So I bid on this, uh, this big haul of tick action figures and I was pleased to win. Um, I think I won, gosh, maybe eight of them for like 25 bucks or something super reasonable. Um, Considering that, uh, you know, at the time they were marked like three for five uh, with the KB's, KB toy sticker on them. So, like, that's what I could have bought them for back in the day is what I was basically scoring them for um, in the present. So, uh, I was very excited to have those. Arthur was not among that lot. Big time bummer. I found Arthur at Bookman's, um, a local media exchange where folks you know, turn in toys or DVDs and CDs and books for either store credit or cash. And he was sixteen fifty. you could see there. So we're talking about, you know, I, I got a, a bunch of tick figures for a couple bucks a piece. And then Arthur, a main character, you know, the tick's best friend and sidekick for 16 bucks. So it just kind of goes to show the spectrum of price in the collectible uh, toy market, like one man's couple bucks at an estate sale where figures like this have been in storage for years is like another collector's, uh, you know, $16 item in a retail setting. And it's really about place and time and opportunity. Um, but considering I spent a couple bucks on the tick, fig the tick figures um, that I had, when I saw Arthur, I figured a $16 investment was worth it. Because it kind of, I think, it com no, it does not complete the wave. I think I still need the, uh, the floater mouse guy and, um, and the man-eating cow as well. So I am a few figures short of this initial wave. But to have the tick for my entire uh, toy love in life without an Arthur has felt like, well, I'm about to fill a big uh, void here in both his heart and mine. So let's rip right into Arthur here and... Um, See how he's held up over the years. I mean, this is a figure from 1994. And what I love about the Tick figures is that Ben uh, Ben Edlund, I want to make sure I say his name right, and I don't know how well you can see that text, but he is credited here as owning the copyright for the Tick on the back of this packaging. And as a guy that creates um, original comic book characters and self-publishes his own mini-comics, there's a bit of hope, there's a bit of inspiration there to see that. Maybe one day one of my characters will be so beloved that he'll get his own action figure. And, uh, and it could look a lot like this. Okay, so. This is super cool. I'm excited. <laughs> there he is. Bizarre pose, right? What's he doing? But uh, how cool is this? Okay, and then this mechanism on the back. I'm to make sure I... Oh, yeah, you just press the button back here. And his moth wings flap um, just as smoothly today as they would have in 1994. This is great. And you know what's funny is his chest looks a little discolored now that I take him out of the bubble. So probably just something with this plastic from that era. You know, who made these? Um, Bandai. So it doesn't take away from their appeal for me personally. If anything, it adds a bit of charm uh, in that it reveals their age. And uh, despite the discolorization, man, the plastic is is still durable. Um, you know, these figures aren't breaking down by any means. They're just 
like I said, a little, a little faded. Um, man, he is covered in dust. I desperately need to, to dust the shelf these figures are on. Um, and you know what? I could possibly do that with just a flap of uh, Arthur's wings here. Is that going to blow any of the... Tick, I'm trying to clean you off. Thanks, chum. But it's a futile effort, because Rusk does not clean his place. <laughs> as often as he should, anyway. Um, so, how cool is it to see these guys side by side for the first time? Uh, Arthur looks like he's ready for an embrace, actually. He's got his arms, like, wide. But, um, very cool. Um, one of comic Comicdom's best superhero duos right here. Um, indie comics, for sure. And uh, I'm stoked to have Arthur as a part of my Tick collection. And frankly, I'm amazed I wasn't uh, gung-ho for these figures when I was a kid, but now I, I definitely want them all. The nostalgia is there, but like I said, also the appreciation for um, indie comics and the, uh, the leaps that uh, these characters made um, in, in small press publishing. You know, I'm wearing this Ninja Turtles shirt, and it's kind of in the same vein of like a creator-owned property that, that broke into the mainstream with toys, action figures, merchandise, a cartoon that was beloved. Um, so I, I just love the uniqueness of these characters in that regard and in that context. So, um, awesome figure. Still holds up. If you see it on the secondary market out there, I'd recommend it because uh, it's a fun, simple action feature here. But it, look at that. Look at how cool that looks. I mean, that looks like a moth right there, right? So, <laughs> if you see Arthur in the wild, pick him up and uh, make sure that you have a tick to pair him with so that these guys can work together. Fighting crime, and shouting spoon. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Um, tune in next time when I grab another unopened action figure from my place here and I tell myself, you know what? Just open it. I'll catch you next time.